Hi, welcome to DoctorSecrets.com. I'm DR, and today we're going to talk about swimmer's ear. This is actually a, an ear infection or one one type of ear infection, and we can illustrate what's going on uh, with this character here, Eric. It's summertime, and he's been spending a lot of time at the pool and jumping into lakes, um, cooling off from the hot sun. But over the last couple of days, he's going to be complaining that in his left ear. He's um, experiencing some pain and maybe a little bit of itching inside of it, um, getting progressively worse, and maybe maybe a fever, but not always. So what's happening is in swimmer's ear, um, you don't necessarily have to be swimming to get swimmer's ear, but it's most commonly seen in people that have been doing a lot of swimming. So that's why I tend to see it uh, most often in summertime when people hit the pools. And what's really occurring is that if we use this same ear here as an example, what you have is the outs, the external part of the ear called the pina. That's not really involved, <clears throat> but if you could look inside, <clears throat> we usually use uh, something called an otoscope to look inside. So this is me looking in here. So you put the tip of the otoscope through into the pina, and inside you'll find that there's a canal almost like a, a cylinder, like a Pringles can. So this opens up into the external environment here through what we call the auditory um, meatus. And at the end of this canal or the, the Pringles can, there's an eardrum. And the eardrum is sealed from the external world. And then after the eardrum, then you have your middle ear where you have all the bones used in hearing. So what happens in swimmer's ear is that People who are jumping into pools or lakes or, or even um, submerging themselves in bathtubs, water finds itself into the air and lodges in the air canal. And if it can't get back out sufficiently well, it becomes stagnant. And just like any stagnant pond, how it starts to, to smell, um, it set, bacteria start to live in, in the area. And then that sets up an inflammatory reaction and an infection of the air canal. So that, in essence, is what a uh, swimmer's ear is. It's very simple. It's basically just a bacterial infection of your ear canal, um, not involving the middle ear. And treatment is also pretty simple, too. Um, there's two ways that we can get antibiotics to that area uh, to kill the infection. We can deliver it either through ear drops, so you can get a little bottle with drops in it, and you put the drops in with the antibiotic uh, preparation that kills it. Another way of doing it is taking the antibiotic in pill form and you take that by mouth, typically for about a week. Uh, in addition to the antibiotics, uh, we often also give something like Tylenol or Advil, uh, basically just to reduce the, the pain in the air until it settles down. One of the important take home messages, messages though is that for people that are getting, especially kids that are getting recurrent uh, swimmer's ear or what we call otitis externa. And the external obviously means external, so the external canal. And the otitis just is an um, uh, abbreviation for ear. <coughs> um, but kids and, and uh, people who are getting recurrent swimmers there, there's preventative measures you can take. The big enemy is water getting into the canal and not being able to get back out. So scrupulous attention to drain the air canal after swims is paramount to avoiding um, getting afflicted with this thing. And there's a couple different ways of, of doing that. One is the individual can put an earplug, they can wear an earplug in their ear for swimming. So each time they swim, they put an earplug in and then take it back out when they're done swimming. That helps to keep the canal nice and dry. Another method is without using uh, an earplug is you can use a, a hair dryer or blow dryer. You you pull the the edge of the ear back and you apply the the hair dryer to the peanut to the to the big lobe part of the ear on low heat and that helps to dry out the ear canal. Um, another um, method, a uh, whole method of preventing. Um, uh, swimmer zero or titus externa is to use a uh, preparation of vinegar which you dilute half and half 
So let's say like two drops vinegar and two drops water. And then after each swim, you just put um, you put two to four drops into each air canal. And the vinegar acts as a, as a bactericidal uh, mechanism. Bacteria don't like um, the acidic conditions that vinegar produces. Um, you can also use hydrogen peroxide after each swim, and that again um, is diluted half and half. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is um, swimmers air demystified and the stuff you should know about it. The most important take-home message is that um, once you've gotten uh, swimmers air, you should go and see your family doctor to get antibiotics. But you may be able to prevent that whole scenario from occurring in the first place by taking those preventative measures that we just discussed. So, thanks for watching and stay well.